Today, we will be finding the difference between food chains and food webs. So first, let's start with food chains. A food chain is basically a set of plants and animals that rely on each other for energy and survival. The food chain always starts with a producer. Some producers in our example would be grass and plants. So as you can see, in this food chain, grass is the producer. Now, the grasshopper eats the grass. So the grasshopper gets energy from the grass. Soon, the grasshopper is eaten by the frog. Frog gets energy from the grasshopper. And then the snake eats the frog to get energy. And the snake is eaten by a hawk. So the hawk can get energy. Then the hawk dies and the decomposes E on it. Then it turns into nutrients. So it goes back around. And the grass gets the nutrients from the ground so that it can grow, which then gets energy, which is then given to the grasshopper. And this keeps on going forever. This chain of energy passing through is called a food chain. During this process, the energy always gets lost. Now we'll move on to food webs. A food web is basically multiple food chains combined together. In our example, we have the plant as the producer. So the rabbit eats the plant for energy. The, ra the rabbit is eaten by the snake, so the snake gets energy, and the snake is eaten by the eagle. So the eagle dies, and then all the decomposers eat on the eagle, and then that turns into nutrients for the plant. Now, here's another food chain. The rat eats the plant. The rat is eaten by the snake, which is eaten by the hawk. So, now that's another food chain. As you can see, we have two food chains in this food web. However, the eagle doesn't only have to eat the snake. He can also eat the rat and the rabbit. So basically, he can eat the rat and also he can eat the rabbit. And he can totally skip that snake part. So that is what creates a food web. And the bigger the food webs get, the more complicated they get because more animals take in part of it. In conclusion, Food chains and food webs are, uh, are vital things in our environment. If they're not there, then the environment won't be stable enough to produce all the things we need for us to live.